in order to retire strong, you have to make sure that your portfolio can manage an up cycle, a down cycle, a sideways cycle, an uptrending, downtrending, side trending, which I know is not really a thing, but basically all types of volatility. And there is a lot of volatility in the market today. And it's all driving to one number that's driving this volatility. So I want to talk about what that one number is, why it matters, and how it's going to impact everyone's portfolio in retirement. Stick around. Hey everybody, this is RC Peck with Fearless Wealth. And for 24 years, I've been working with the individuals, helping them just create a very stable, very defendable approach to the market. Today, and what I do every week is I look at what I believe is the most relevant piece of information. Relevance is everything. So what is the most relevant piece of information this week that impacts everyone's portfolio? So let's do this. Let's pop over to the chart. And I have three, well, I have two charts to show you in one data point. So why don't we actually first start with the data point that I'm thinking about? And it is something called the PCE number, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Price Index. All right. PCE for short. Now, the reason this matters is because this is what the Fed looks at. The Fed looks at the PCE number. And today the number came in higher, right? So in December of last year, this number was 5.3%. And for January, it's 5.4. Think of this as an inflationary number. But think of it more of kind of like a more stickier inflationary number and the number that Jerome Powell and company looks at. So this number went higher in its most recent print. And you can see it right here. Uh, back in October, it was 6.1. In November, it was 5.6, meaning it was falling. December, it was 5.3. And now, because we're always a month behind January, it is 5.4. And so the market is not liking this because... If this is the measure of inflation that Powell is watching and it just went higher, that means most yields are going to go higher. And I say most yields, but the ones that are closest or the shortest in on the yield curve. So the one you see right here is the yield on the one year treasury. It's north of 5%. It hasn't been north of 5% for over 15 years. So this is kind of a big deal. The market's really starting to kind of recalibrate to figure out what are we going to do now? What am I supposed to do? Like, does this mean the market's going to go down and break to new lows? But what it's doing is it's creating more instability in the market, which leads to just, it's really all stock markets, but this price chart I'm showing you here is the S&P 500. It's the tracking symbol SPY with dividends reinvested. And basically what I see going on is a sideways market that is gonna create a lot of havoc for a lot of people. We could see a retest of October lows. Though if you watch my other kind of weekly what's most relevant videos is I talked about the um, October low being very different than all the other lows in 2022. If we see a retest of October lows, it's because the world, the market has definitely taken the word that Powell is looking at the PCE number and it's going higher and he's gonna raise rates past five and a quarter. Now up to this week or last week, I said the Fed will keep rates or take rates to five at the most five and a quarter. This kind of changes everything. This says, look, the Fed might take rates past five and a quarter as high as 6%. And if they do, it impacts everything, right? Because that's kind of the free rate of return. There's a lot of money market funds around the world, but even if there weren't, you could give the US government your money for one year and get basically a risk-free 5% on it. So that risk-free number that keeps going up means everything else has to adjust to it. And that's why we're seeing the volatility in the market. Now, the question then becomes what you can do or what this means for your portfolio. If you have a portfolio that is agnostic to the market that isn't necessarily bullish the market or bearish the market but it's just literally calling like balls and strikes it's just calling them as they are and it adjusts to the market this doesn't really matter that much because your portfolio would be adjusted to kind of the sideways we're in the portfolios that it's really going to mess with are these kind of fixed mindset portfolios where your money is always 80 percent in stocks and 20 percent in bonds for example 
those are the portfolios that's going to get hit with or hit the most. But the big takeaway from this week's video is the most relevant piece of data is this PCE number, and it has gone up. That has made the yield on the one-year treasury break clearly above 5%, which is now putting downward pressure on all stock markets around the world. US, Europe, international, China, Australia, Australasia, name it if it's on planet Earth, it is absolutely affecting it. Stick around. Next week, we'll kind of check in with the markets as I always do and look at the most relevant piece of information. Thanks for being in my world again. This is RC Peck with Fearless Wealth. And let me know where you think I got it right, where you think I got it wrong. Please do that in the comment section below. Uh, like, do all those good things that YouTube algorithm likes. And again, thanks for being in my world and I look forward to seeing you next week. Okay, bye. Thank <laughs> you.